Hello everyone, this is Exbethelite here. And Leah Remini has taken on Jehovah's Witnesses. And this is not like anything Watchtower has faced in the past. This can kill Watchtower. We saw what happened to Scientology when the things that they were doing got outside of their control, the, the, the information about Scientology and the things that they were doing to people was getting out. Scientology could not control it. People like Leah Remini began to speak out. And once that religion is now considered a cult, by the majority, it's dead. You're going to have a few fanatical people that don't know anything else that, that stay. But that religion, Scientology is dead. You don't see a bunch of people that joining Scientology anymore. If the same thing happens to Watchtower, the same result will occur. But there's something very interesting about what we just witnessed with this special. Someone completely outside of Watchtower's control is exposing them. Watchtower doesn't have Leia Remini's family. Watchtower doesn't have Leia Remini's friends. Watchtower does not have Leia Remini's children. Watchtower can't use anything to isolate or contain what is happening with this special. Now, if you really think about the possibilities here, we're talking about former Scientologists, former Jehovah's Witnesses, all of these ex-cult members uniting, a unification of all of these people and the exposing of cult abuses in America. Jehovah's Witnesses Watchtower has already suffered so much just within our lifetime. They have already been collapsing prior to the special with Leia Remini. We've already seen the Australian Royal Commission Call governing body members, ex telling them, explain all this pedophilia and explain why you guys have not been reporting anything that's been done to these children, to the police. And then you had the governing body, quote unquote, governing body member on video state that it would be presumptuous for him to say that they are God's only Channel And it's on video. This has never happened before in the history of the organization where they're, they're backing off on being God's channel. Uh, we had the Russian ban. These are things that Watchtower has got to try to recuperate from. Uh, we've had the downsizing. You all know about the selling of buildings in Brooklyn. I was one of the Bethelites that was essentially let go, laid off, uh, told to essentially hit the road uh, with with nothing, uh, no support from Watchtower whatsoever. Uh, Watchtower has been on Dr. Phil, Ray Franz spoke out, uh, a former governing body member, uh, wrote several books. These are things that have happened. The, I'm just summarizing. This isn't even everything. 
I am summarizing some of the things that has happened in our lifetime that we've seen that Watchtower's got to find a way to contain all of this. And now we have an actual uh, teaching doctrine that has completely flopped, completely failed. The generation of 1914 that will not pass away before Armageddon comes. Uh, complete flop. Like they didn't get any of that right. And then they have to go back and and they look worse coming up with something stupid like overlapping uh, generations. But we have seen Watchtower slowly bleed out slowly lose money because of all of the sexual abuse cases uh, with elders molesting young children, uh, losing members. Watchtower is probably one of the religions that has the highest rate. And I say probably because I actually saw this on the internet uh, where they were saying that Watchtower is the highest has the highest turnover of any religion and losing more people than any other religion. And you have to say to yourself, in what direction is Watchtower heading? We're witnessing the collapse of this cult. And again, Leo Remini, A and E, this is outside of Watchtower's control. They can't extinguish this fire. There's nothing that they can do at all. So if Leo Remini gets on the Joe Rogan show, and exposes Watchtower. If Leah Remini gets on Ellen and exposes Watchtower, Leah Remini knows people who know people who this can get out. And once it does, once all of the things that Watchtower has been trying to sweep under the rug gets out and the general public becomes aware of all of the things that Watchtower has done and has caused, it then becomes labeled a cult, uh, not just by former members, but by the population at large. And when that happens, it's dead. The religion is dead. Let's talk about that for a little bit. Think about how quickly this can get out of hand. Again, Watchtower had some ability to try to sweep Ray Franz and what he was saying under the, the rug. They made Watchtowers where people were throwing crisis of conscious uh in the fire, uh, they had a bunch of people writing letters to Russia to try to get them to not ban. Uh, they, they, Watchtower has tried to do things to keep things from spinning out of control. But this, Leia Remedy is the one that could really put a stop to a lot of this. And it's funny that, uh, you know, Leah Remini, a very lovely woman, is the one that can really do a lot of damage uh, to a cult because wasn't it uh, Samuel Turd that said, uh, oh, excuse me, not Samuel Turd, Samuel Hurd. Wasn't it Samuel Hurd who said that women uh, use 10 percent less of their brain and was speaking down on women and saying all these things about women 
And now you have all these men on the governing body and you have Leia Remini here and not a single one of them can think of something to do to stop her from exposing them. That is the cherry on top of the cake. That a religion that doesn't let women carry a microphone to hand to someone so they can answer one of the questions that, you know, four fourth graders could do in the watchtower. Uh, they won't let women do anything but knock on doors. Is that a woman, very lovely, very intelligent woman, could be the one to deal the death blow. Because if she starts going on interviews with all these connected people, just like she did with Scientology, went on these interviews and told people things that they didn't know before about Scientology and about Xenu and, and all this crazy stuff. When watchtowers... Crazy stuff is on Ellen, is on the Joe Rogan show. It's done. It's done. Watchtower cannot recuperate from all of this. So what you will then have is a religion that has the members that they have currently in place, but no one to replace them. No one's going to be joining Jehovah's Witnesses, Watchtower, uh, Cult, been on Leia Remini. We all know about it now. It's in the mainstream now. It's not just ex-members that are aware of this now. Ex-Scientologists are aware of it. Uh, people that follow Rhea, Leia Remini's career is now aware of it. People that watch her on her interviews that she could do and expose Watchtower are now aware of it. This woman, again, she can put the finishing touches on a cult uh, that has done so much damage to a lot of people, but a lot of women in particular. Uh, women being abused and the elders stating, well, you just need to be more submissive. Comment down below, you know, if you're a religious uh, person, uh, comment and let me know if you think. Again, if you're if you're not religious, you know, that's fine. But if you're a religious person. Comment down below and let me know if you think God has had a hand in this. Uh, you know, that it just so happens to be a woman that Watchtower has been speaking down on for so long that is the one to uh, put Watchtower on life support. Let me know what you think about those things. But... Watchtower can't stop the bleeding. Watchtower is a company. And when the company cannot stop losing money, the company cannot get more customers, it's over with. It's done. Once who they have dies off, what we're left with is Watchtower selling off the rest of the properties. Maybe just becoming a, a printing company without properties and, and kingdom halls and facilities. Uh, they might start printing science fiction. Who knows? Star Trek. But as a religion, they are never going to be mainstream. They're never going to be the Baptist church. They're never going to be the Catholic church. They're, they're, they're done as far as their expansion is concerned. And we see the evidence of that with the selling off of 
the buildings. So we have the evidence that Watchtower is in decline. The question is just how much in decline can they recover? The answer is no, because you cannot stop Leah Remini. You can't stop the Scientologists uh, who have woken up from that cult from now recognizing the connection between Scientology and Jehovah's Witnesses getting involved just like they got involved with Scientology and Watchtower now has a wave of people former Scientologists people that Leah Remini influences they have a wave of people that they have no control over they can't this fellowship lay a remedy. They can't reprove lay a remedy. They can't do anything to her. So we are watching Watchtower bleed out and essentially we're watching the slow death of the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, we can discuss it. 937-789-4029 is a number we can call. Discuss this topic. And uh, we'll try to keep the discussions to maybe half an hour to 45 minutes. So we can uh, get a lot of people's thoughts. And this is X Wall Kill Bethelite signing out.